I've been doing rhythmic gymnastics for six years, and I started when I was six years old. At just 12, Isabella Haldane is a rising star on the Canadian rhythmic gymnastics scene. Isabella is a very talented gymnast, and over the last few years she's had some really exciting successes. As a pre-novice athlete, she had a gold medal at the Western Canadian Championships, and again, the same thing happened in the novice category. I was sixth at nationals last year, so I'm ranked sixth in the country right now and I hope to be on junior national team this year. It's been one success after another for the grade seven student from Vernon. After her performance at this year's nationals, she was chosen to represent Canada at the Pan American Sport Training Camp in Texas. She was put together with top kids from all over North Central and South America and exposed to outstanding instruction from Olympic gold medal teachers, from ballet instructors, and from sport specific physiotherapists as well. We got to learn different apparatus things, so just working with like different rolls with the ball and stuff. It was really cool. Student Jaden Andriotti was invited to attend the training camp last year. It was nice because it gave me kind of like an early start to my year, so I kind of got like a, a head start and I got like it was really nice to have different perspectives and different corrections. Rhythmic gymnastics is an intense sport and constant training is needed for success. It's all about details, so the kids are working a lot of hours on a lot of different things. They are working on um, ballet and all of the foundations of dance. They do a lot of different fitness work, so they do several hours of that every week. Um, and then after that comes all of the apparatus work and then putting it all together in routines. Isabella trains six days a week, five hours a day with her coach. It's amazing having Camille as my coach. Having her, when she's choreographing routines, to come out there and show you how to do your moves and not just sit there and tell you. Um, we feel a connection. It's like a family at the gym, so it's really nice. It's not like she's my coach. It's like another family. Isabella will continue her intense training schedule in hopes of making the junior national team this year and one day competing at the World University Games or even the Olympics. Her talent level and her family support are outstanding, so really the uh, world is waiting for her to make her own choices, and I think, I think there's a lot of opportunities available for her. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Jamie Ross.